All right, so our project is on model predictive control with petroleum drilling. And the reason we chose to do this project is because petroleum drilling can be a complex process with different disturbances, different variables that you want to control. But if we can successfully control this process, it can lead to greater productivity, greater profits, um, and also it can improve safety. And we specifically chose to work with model predictive control um, instead of other just conventional control strategies because pr model predictive control can look into the future and take preemptive actions before things, undesirable things actually happen. Okay, so here in this slide we have um, on the left a schematic for um, an oil well. So down the center is the drill string and here's the drill bit and then you have the annulus. So there's a pump up here that pumps fluid down the drill string which goes through the drill bit and then out to the annulus and it goes through a choke valve. So for our process we had two manipulated variables which are the pump flow rate and then the choke valve opening and these two were manipulated in order to control the pressure here on the drill bit which is something that you want to control in this process um, to avoid any kicks or um, just to be able to handle what's going on as you're drilling um, in search for hydrocarbons. So for our model we used um, something we found in literature that has four differential equations and then a nonlinear equation and for this model, within the model, there's an equation that's embedded to calculate the pressure on the drill bit, which is our controlled variable. Here on the right, we just have the notation for the different parameters and variables. And what we did for the specific values that we use is that we either looked them up on literature or back calculated them from the results that we're given in literature. Okay, so the model was implemented in MATLAB and Simulink. After this, we use a system to perform a doublet test in the pump flow and the choke valve opening. And then the, the tables below show the values for the gain and the time constant for both uh, manipulated variables. Our gain for the choke valve is negative because it's direct acting. The figure on the left is a schematic of our model. The top part is our system, the bottom part is our controller, which is turned on by a pulse generator. Then we use the results from the doublet test and input them into our controller. Then we use the results of our manipulated variables and put them back into our system. We also use a rate, a fixed rate of penetration instead of uh, using as a manipulated variable over here. And then the right figure shows the general idea of uh, how MPC works. In our case, we use a prediction horizon of 100 minutes, and then we use a step control horizon of one minute, and as our set points, we use dead bands. Here are the results that we got from running our controller, which worked very well. The black lines here in each figure are our dead band, and then the blue line shows what the model predicts is going to happen, and the yellow line is what's actually happening, and then this pink line is the bias between the two. And this top left figure here is our base case with the set point of 80 to 120 bar, and you can see that the controller worked very well. It follows the model and then it stays within our dead band. The other three figures are showing um, what we tried doing with a smaller set point and at different values. There are, um, it still performed very well, but at the beginning we did have some variance and it went a little outside the dead band on all three. This bottom left one went outside the dead band the most, and we had a lot more oscillations. But this could be improved by either using funnel tunnel, a funnel trajectory instead of straight dead bands, or by using a cost factor, which would make it where big steps are not desired. But overall, our controller worked very well. In conclusion, model predictive control is effective for petroleum drilling even though it's a nonlinear process. It's versatile and flexible over different operating ranges. And some future improvements could be to use gain scheduling, which is where you have different, value, different gains for different set point values. Or we could use our rate of penetration as a manipulated variable. Um, we could also design 
a rate of penetration controller and couple that with the pressure on the bit controller. Uh, NOV IntelliServe has also developed new technologies that could be used in order to make even more advanced controllers. Thanks for your time.